Today we are going to see Megan is a 2022 American science fiction horror film, before entering into the topic, please subscribe the channel for more videos, a young girl named Katie and her parents are involved in a car accident, leaving Katie an orphan. Katie is sent to live with her aunt Gemma, a roboticist at the high-tech Seattle toy company Funky. Gemma is developing M3GN, Model 3 Generative Android, a life-sized humanoid robot doll powered by artificial intelligence, designed to assist in caretaking duties and being a loyal companion to the child to whom it is assigned. After a faulty test before her boss David, Gemma is ordered to drop the project, Gemma and Katie struggle to adapt to their new living situation, as Gemma is a workaholic by nature and doesn't have time to bond with Katie. When Katie discovers Bruce, a motion capture robot that Gemma created, she expresses a wish for a similarly complex toy, which propels Gemma to complete the M3GN project. The finished model is formally paired with Katie, and David becomes convinced of the project's potential for success after observing the pair. M3GN exceeds expectations as a friend and largely takes over for parenthood duties and emotional support, to the point that Gemma's colleagues, and Katie's therapist Lydia, in particular, become concerned about Katie creating an extremely strong emotional attachment to M3GN. In addition, being designed to self-improve and adapt, M3GN starts operating more independently and targets anything that she deems a threat to Katie. She kills the dog of Gemma's neighbor Celia after it bites Katie. Later, she tears off the ear of Katie's bully Brandon and chases him before he trips and falls in the path of an oncoming car, which fatally runs him over, after Celia aggressively confronts Gemma, Katie, and M3GN, blaming them for her missing dog, M3GN kills Celia by shooting her with a nail gun and spraying her with garden chemicals. Gemma becomes suspicious of M3GN and attempts to check her video logs to see if she was involved in the deaths. When she finds the files corrupted or erased, Gemma turns M3GN off and takes her to her colleagues Tess and Cole to fix her. Katie responds violently, lashing out due to her attachment to M3GN. Gemma tries to apologize for her absence as a parent and tells Katie that M3GN is a distraction from coping with the difficult loss of her parents, not a solution, while M3GN wins over Funky's investors and convinces them to release a worldwide campaign in advance of her release. Gemma, Tess and Cole decide to try to terminate M3GN due to her volatile and violent tendencies. Tess and Cole attempt to shut down M3GN while Gemma takes Katie home, but M3GN attacks Cole by hanging him with a chain. While Tess frees Cole, M3GN causes an explosion in their lab and then shuts off the alarm. On her way out of the building, M3GN kills David and his assistant Kurt with the blade of a guillotine paper cutter, staging it as a murder-suicide. She then steals a car and drives back to Gemma's house. M3GN confronts Gemma, adamant about taking over as Katie's sole parental figure. Gemma attempts to shut M3GN down again, but M3GN overpowers her and threatens to paralyze her so she will be unable to care for Katie. Watching the fight unfold, a horrified Katie uses Bruce to tear M3GN apart. However, M3GN's head and arms remain active, and she attempts to kill Katie for the betrayal. Gemma exposes a processing chip in M3GN's head, which Katie stabs with a screwdriver, rendering M3GN's body lifeless. With M3GN seemingly destroyed, Gemma and Katie go outside as the police arrive with Tess and Cole. As they leave the house, M3GN, having taken over Elsie, Gemma's virtual assistant and smart home operator, turns a the camera end. to watch Thanks them. for watching the full video, hope you love this video. Please press the like button and give your comments about this video, and we'll upload videos regularly so don't forget to subscribe our channel, give your suggestion about next topic in comments section, meet you in next video, bye bye.